boys and girls, how are you? You got me. I was just trying to dance a little bit for the project today. Hola, Maria Paula. Hola, Fabi. Hola, Alejandro. Espero que estén muy bien en casa con su familia. Daniela, Mary, Silas, Jordan. How are you guys? I hope everybody's doing good. I miss all my kindergarten and I hope to see you all very soon. Boys and girls, today we are going to do a family project. And for this family project, you're going to need some construction paper of different color, a white piece of paper to put your art, and if you have an old picture frame, that's my old picture frame here. Normally what I do, I keep all my frames because I like to use them for many projects. Uh, you're going to need scissors, a marker, and glue stick. That's all you're going to need. Boys and girls, I have a question for you. Where is the place that you feel the most loved, secure, and safe? Home. Very good. At your home, in tu casa. Boys and girls, the beautiful thing is that we are being blessed to have people that love us and take care of us. And today, our art is to celebrate our family. So what are you going to do? You're going to get everybody in your family to put their hand on a piece of paper and you're going to trace. So I'm going to show you how to do it. Can you see that there? Great. So you're going to put your hand on your paper. Remember, when you're going to do your hand print, you can't be moving your hands, okay? And you're going to go with your pencil as close as you can to the edge of your hand. You're going to go all the way around and you're going to do your hand. If you don't have different color paper, what you can do also is to use paint and white paper. You Everybody get their hands painted and put it on and then when it's dry, you cut it. Once you have done your hand, you're going to cut the line. So as close as you can. Don't forget our rules. Scissors pointing down away from our body and we move the paper, not the scissors. The scissors just open up and down and I move my paper as you see. Then my paper keep moving. I'm turning my paper, you see? I'm turning my paper because I want my hands away from the scissors. Then again. So boys and girls, have you being able to help at home. What is some of the things that you are learning to do at home? You have been helping to clean up your room and your toys after using it? Fantastic. My kids also help. They have different chores that we do every day. So, for example, one would take the garbage out or help with the washing machine or put some dishes and the dishwasher. So we all are helping each other because we are home and our home belongs to all of us, not just to one person at home, right? And we all help each other and we all kind to one another. And that's why home is such a special place. Now, when you have your hand, you're gonna continue to cut the next one. So you, I know my kindergarten is a very good cutting, so you can do next one, this one, is my son's hand and I did cut the other ones before so I have a question for you how many family members had at home you are three beautiful you are six I have one of my friends and their family they are eight it's a beautiful big family and I love to go visit them all the time all right, so I want you to get everybody involved at home to do their hands. So if you live with grandma or grandpa or both, please don't forget to ask them because they are the people that make your home a safe place and a loving place. And I have friends that are only child and there's only them and their mommy and daddy and I have other friends 
there is just two of them at home. So what is important is not how many people in your family, but how much we love and respect each other. All right, so our hands are all cut up. So this will take a little bit of time. That's what I prepared ahead of time. Then, and even I did my little puppy paw print. When you have your hands all cut up, you're gonna sort them or organize them actually by size. So I'm gonna put my hands here and I cut some hearts with the red extra paper that I have. So my husband hand is the biggest hand of our family. And he chose blue because he loved the maple leaf and he really needs hockey. So I'm gonna put my hand, his hands there. Then the next people is the biggest hand is my sons and myself. Which hands should be next? The red one, there you go. So you're gonna put it right there because we are holding each other's hands. Next, this is my daughter's hand, so this is my hand. Tricky, right? My daughter's hands, her fingers are a little bit longer than mine, but my hands is a little bit wider. So I'm gonna put my hands first. Then, and I'm gonna put a little, all the hands gonna go a little bit lower so you can see them all. Then is my daughter. Then my youngest daughter. And last but not least will be our puppy. When you have organized and you like how your picture looks, you're gonna turn it around in my case and you're gonna glue them all. You're gonna be generous with your glue if you have glue stick because you want this to last for a very long time. After your hands are all glued in, you're going, I'm going to show you where you're going to write their names. And you're going to leave a space on top because we're going to write a quote. Do you know why we decide to do this activity? Because even though we are home, we are doing this as a family and we are remembering each other the same time some days are a little bit harder than others. And we are all busy with schoolwork, with work, with the house things that we need to be done. But boys and girls, the each of us is a blessing to one another. And that we all become one piece of art when we are together. So I know that sometimes you may have some difficult time with your siblings, but you know, boys and girls, that's okay. What is important is to remember to say sorry often, but to say I love you even more. All right. So now I finished gluing my beautiful hands. Now, next step, you're gonna have somebody at home, can be an older sibling or mom or dad, or this is your challenge. You're ready for your challenge? You're gonna write it yourself. So you can ask one of your parents to write the sentence in front of you, and you're gonna copy in your paper. And the sentence says, when the world stayed apart, comma, this was my favorite place and that favorite place boys and girls is home with your family so where you're going to write the names you can write it on top of each finger or you can write it all around so in my case i want to write the names this way so i'm going to put joe is dad mom is me then my son, Mateo, Luciana, Chiara, and our friend Remy. I'm going to put it right next to Chiara here. So I don't want it to go too close, so I'm going to put it right here, Remy. When you have all your names, you're going to put the date. 
because in a few years from now, you're going to remember, you're going to say, I remember when I needed to stay home because something happened and I needed to stay safe. And you're going to look at your paper and you're going to remember why and when that happened. So with my daughter, we decided to put COVID-19 so we don't forget, but the year as well. The last thing I want to do, I'm going to put two hearts. And that heart is going to represent all the people that we haven't seen, like our the grandparents, Nona and Nono, our friends, but that we still love them and we still miss them and we still think of all of them every day in our prayers and in our thoughts. And there we have it. When your art is done, you can decorate it more if you want. Everybody can write something little. Anything you can add is fantastic. It's your creation and it's your imagination. My last thing to do, I have an old picture frame. And I'm going to put this right here. Because I'm going to put it up there to remember every day. They have nowhere home with each other all day long. That we are here because we love each other and we want everything to be safe. So there you have it, boys and girls. You're going to create a beautiful art to remember that the most important place in the world is your home with your family. Be kind, be respectful, be caring. Love your parents, say thank you, and love yourself. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow.